Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a NVIDIA Shield controller, the game controller, to your Linux machine via Bluetooth so you can play PC, P, P, PS2 games using the PCSX2 emulator. I almost forgot what emulator I was you know, doing then. I was about to say EPC, PSX, but I've already done a video for that. And you can use the new controller or one of the older ones. So let me show you the controller right now. You should be seeing the controller. This is, you know, the new one. Uh, this was released in 2017. You got an old one from 2016 as well. Both the same process. And yeah, so they both work. Okay, so what you want to do is put this into sync mode. Before we do that, go to Bluetooth settings. And if you're using a different version of Linux or distro, feel free to navigate to the Bluetooth settings as you normally would. If you have you know, any questions or you need any help regarding that, feel free to pop me a message. Now what you want to do is put this into sync mode. To do that, keep this pressed till this, you know, starts flashing. It should take about five or so seconds. And when it starts flashing, that means it's in sync mode. Okay, that's in sync mode now. And it can vary on how long it actually takes to appear in the Bluetooth settings, you know, for you to recognize it. The first time I did it, it took quite a while. So, you know, just be patient. And there we go, NVIDIA controller. Your version might be different depending on you know because they do have an in, like their own you know version on there which is pretty cool so it updates the controller as well that's connecting there so what we need to do now I don't need to use this we need to open up PCSX2 also make sure that when you sync this that PCSX2 is closed and open it after you sync it otherwise you will not recognize the controller. So now go to controllers, plugin settings, make sure you've got this one selected. It should be the default one, but just make sure. I'm gonna clear because there were some default you know, keyboard commands. And now we can start mapping this. Your menu or screen won't look like this. It will look a little better. Things won't be squashed. It's just because I'm zoomed in to make it a little easier. And now you literally start mapping the controls as you normally would. So you just click on that and I want this one to be square. Analog sticks and now let's switch on to the other side. So these two and the analog stick. If you have to use properly with one hand, now the arrows for so the D pad. Now finally, let's need to select and start. So there's some buttons down here that we can use. So we use that one for select. And again, you, you can map them in some totally random order if you wanted to. You can do enable force feedback, but it doesn't work. So yeah, so you, you're left with that force feedback. So it's gonna go to apply. Okay, actually I just pressed okay straight away. And I've already got a ISO selected. It's the last one I played, and let me just show you it working. Let me go to fast boot. It's not working. That doesn't seem to be working. I mean, uh, the controller is still connected because I know the blue, the battery is low. The controller is still connected. So the question is, why did start not work? That's basically what I was trying to trigger. Let me go back to the settings. Make sure I actually properly assign it. So start, start. Let me use a different button. This one. Okay, for some reason that button here wasn't working, that one does work, that's strange. Okay, if that works for you, great, if not, then you'll have to use the other one. It's not the other one, really. basically the same thing, really. Okay, so let me try Kaito. I mean, what Kaito? I haven't tried Christy yet in the videos that I've been doing, so I'll try it. And, you know, it works now, it's all connected, so you can literally just end the video right here. 
and you know carry on playing obviously we've got to do the x and circle because she is she was what was she she was the granddaughter or daughter of the guy who trained eddie guerrero hence why her moves are exactly the same way let me you know defeat her one more time Okay, and let me show you square and triangle. How dare they! Oh, yeah, like, that, like a boss, and that's it. So, I'm gonna click escape, which will okay. So, for some reason. PCSX2 has stopped responding for me. Okay, yeah, for some reason, PCSX2 stopped responding. You know, I think this is a random issue. You can ignore that. I'll show you that. Show you how to put this in sync mode, connect it. You should be all good to go. I've just been having a few problems with my machine in general. So it's probably just related to that. And you should be all good. So, and also, I'm doing an update as well. So, you know, the OS that's probably messing things up as well. But that's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.